All right, let's continue with my ChatGPT team demo. This is the ChatGPT team account. Um, for the ones that don't know the difference, you have personal accounts for like uh, ChatGPT Pro, which I already had. I upgraded to team and I want to show you in this series of videos, what can you do with ChatGPT team? Uh, now in this video, I want to uh, focus in uh, getting organized. So if you are a, a heavy user of uh, uh, AI of ChatGPT, um, then you have or here a lot of uh, chats or conversations and those sometimes are difficult to find. In this case, I don't have any because I decided uh, not to import my personal uh, chats or projects or GPTs uh, into my uh, GPT, chat GPT Teams account. You can do that, uh, but I suggest not to do it because uh, this is a professional setting. Uh, setting is shared with colleagues and sometimes there are chats that are personal and you don't want uh, them to be revealed to uh, other people uh, within your company or business. So long story short, I don't have anything here, uh, but um, when I start a new chat, let's say here, uh, just like that. Uh, all right, and so I have this and I have it here. I can just change the name of the chat say like that and if i have a thousand chats here it gets messy so a good way to do it is to create a project name let's say i'm in a marketing team and uh, i have campaign uh, black friday um, 2025 uh, we create the project this is basically a folder um, and i'm gonna move this here to this folder. I can also do it. Um, I can uh, remove it from the campaign. Um, but in this case, I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, and whenever you start a new chat from here, it will be added within this folder. This is a good way to keep things organized in uh, folders. Or they call them projects here. Uh, or you can just use the old fashioned search engine here. So if I look for chat one, then that's interesting if they don't find it. Okay, well, that that's something I didn't expect of a ChatGPT team. I thought they would look at all the my chats here. Apparently it's not the case. Let's just refresh and try it again. Mm, I'll go in through, into the models uh, in a little bit. Uh, in a future video, uh, but now let's just do the chat here, chat one. Okay, so the search <clears throat> doesn't find my uh, the chats that I had here. Um, so this is a way to get organized, how to uh, create things in, um, in folders and uh, keep them that way. You can, that way you can give access to a colleague to a, a specific uh, folder and then that person, you can collaborate with them in the, this campaign, Black Friday 2025, all within one folder. Now, let me show you another uh, example, uh, how you would do that in BrainChat. Why would you consider BrainChat? Just go to brainchat.ai and you can look it up for yourself. Uh, you can just go here and look at the price. Uh, uh, you get much more than ChatGPT team for a much lower price. You have uh, models of uh, different providers, not just uh, OpenAI. So you're not locked up to one provider and you can save a lot of uh, money per year. Um, so if you're a manager or a business owner, um, that's something that you want to uh, look into it because you want to uh, spend smartly um, your budget. Anyway, uh, let me show you how to do that in BrainChat. Um, so I have here my organizational tab and I want to uh, create a folder. Let's say I have this new folder here and I'll just change for Black Friday 25, 2025. Now I have it here and I can also drag, uh, bring some, let's say, this one 
uh, I want to move it to this folder. So now I have it there. Now, when I look, I can expand this and look at folders. Uh, I can look at this folder and I have this chat already in this folder. What can I do now here? From here, I can uh, tag, I can add a comment where in which I can tag any of my colleagues and then that person will get a notification. So that's how you would do it in BrainChat compared to ChatGPT for Teams. Um, I'll get into more specific uh, um, features of uh, ChatGPT and I'll compare them also to BrainChat so you can look for yourself and how ChatGPT for Teams work and if that's something for you uh, and how you can do exactly the same and more for less money um, with BrainChat.